This is chapter 5 loops, program exercise 18. Display four patterns using loops. Use nested loops that display the following four patterns in four separate programs. So here we have our four triangles which we're going to create using nested loops. Now I did go over nested loops in more details with these triangles, with, with, well with one particular triangle, uh, this one in particular in a previous exercise, programming exercise 17. So if you want more details uh, breaking down uh, how I create those, this triangle in the previous exercise with nested for loops, I definitely recommend going to that one. For this exercise, I'm just going to briefly go over it, assuming that you have a better understanding on how to use nested for loops and how we could break it down to design and write or draw these triangles with loops. So that's what this exercise is going to be. Otherwise, for more detail, definitely check out exercise 17. All right, so we're going to start with triangle one, which we have here, uh, which we'll just use two for loops to design this. One for loop, the outer loop, will be the rows. The second uh, for loop will be what it does in each row. All right, so let's try that out. All right, so we have our triangle one here. So for byte row, we'll start at row one and we'll go all the way till row five, which I've created right here. So row one to row five, row plus plus. So that will be the outer for loop. Now for the inner for loop, it's going to uh, decide what I'm going to draw on the outer for loop. Uh, sorry, on for each row, what I'm going to print out for each row. Now. I'm going to create num equals one. Always start out for one, right? For this triangle here, it's going to start at one for every row. One, 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 one for each row, right? Same pretty much for all of them. So one, and it'll go all the way to the next one uh, or the next number. And so it'll be num, start at one, and just keep drawing until you hit the next number. And the next number will be. Uh, will just basically be what our row is. So just to uh, clarify, so on row one, we just go display up to number one. On row two, right, one, two, row two, we display up to number two. On row three, we display up to number three. So that really makes it easier with that information in mind to really design our triangle here. So basically it'll be num, and let's just create a space. And that's pretty much it, right? Simple as that to design our first triangle. And of course, each time we hit a row, we want to go to a new line. So that's all that is. All right, and here we go. Pretty much that, right? On row one, we uh, display number one. And row two, we go up to number two, three, four, and five. So that will be triangle one. Pretty simple. And then we go on to triangle two. Now triangle two, let's take a look. I'm gonna grab uh, everything from our triangle one and maybe just edit it if it's pretty simple. So it's kind of flipped around where we display all the numbers first and then we kind of start decreasing. Okay, so that I'm gonna change this for loop. This is the, the real meat to the exercise. So this inner for loop, I want it to go all the way to what, um, to what numbers so basically what i could say is uh i will say bytes i'll call it number uh, of course i'm going to start as one and i'll just say hey as long as is less than or equal to number um hmm, number minus row plus one okay Uh, number plus plus and for this print out the number every time okay now before I run this I will actually want to make sure my logic is correct so I want to start at the number one. Oh, oops should be num instead 
uh, as long as the number is less than or equals to the this number input minus rho which starts at 1 so 5 minus 1 which is 4 plus 1 now it's 5 so it'll go from 1 to 5 print this number so print 1 to 5 on the first row and the second row I want to print out from 1 to 4 so print out from 1 to 5 second row 1 to 4 third row 1 to 3 so on so forth so according to this logic on row 2 row 2 will be starting at 1 so print 1 all the way to number minus row plus 1 so number will still be 5 minus 2 this time on the second row so 5 minus 2 is 3 plus 1 so it'll be 4. So it'll be print 1 to 4. So that logic seems correct. Now let me run it and let's see. And indeed that is correct. Now let me actually put a new line here so I could separate this so it'll be easier to see. So this is triangle 2 now. Now triangle 2 says print 1 to 5. Next row print 1 to 4, 1 to 3, 1 to 2, and 1. So we're fine. 1 to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Here comes the next triangle, triangle 3, which looks like we have to actually print two triangles inside a for loop. This first triangle will just be a white space to shove um, the one all the way in the back. All right? So you create a whole bunch of white space, then you put this one. So basically, imagine this right here, this triangle, except you shove this one all the way to the back. This one, two, all the way to the back. Same with three, four, and five. You just leave it as is, right? So you shove in the back with white space. So basically, it's basically this right here, triangle one with white space. So let me just do a slash n for a new line and say triangle three. Now, I'm gonna do that right here. So create a white space, let's call it bytes, white space, uh, we're going to start that at 1 and this white space is going to keep print out white space as long as it's less than number right minus row uh, I'm gonna have to verify my logic just to make sure uh, it's correct and white space plus plus and for each time, I just want to print out a white space. All right, so let me just verify my logic. What I'm trying to say here is basically I want to print out for each row, uh, for the first row, of course, I want to print out more white space. As it goes on, I want to print out less and less white space. So to make sure that's correct, I start at one, and I want to go all the way from number minus row. So number will always be five because that's what I set it as, and the row will depend on the for loop. So number minus, also oh, five minus one, that's four. So first time you'll print out four white space. Four white space, and then you print out the number. That sounds about right. Second, well, let's see, it's a less than, so it doesn't go up to four. So oh, instead, let me just do less than or equal to. That way, it'll go up to four. Also, go up to three, right? It'll be five minus one, four, and one, two, something less than four. So next, after that iteration, uh, for the next loop, row will equal two. So five minus two is three. All right, that does seem correct. Now, let's run that, and let me make sure that, that actually work. And it does. All right, so print out the white space, then this for loop prints out the number. All right, all right, so here's the picture. Uh, that's the white space, this is the triangle. All right, so that looks good. Now, finally, we have this, which is basically triangle two, except the white space is on the bottom. So we print out the top, then we push the bottom by a little bit at a time. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just copy triangle two and just edit it from there. All right, so it will be triangle four, triangle four. Now, hmm, print out white space first. So it'll be four 
bytes, let's call it the white space. And the thing is, I don't want to print out the white space on row one. I want to start at row two. Now to do that, I will have to make sure the logic here is correct. So white space, instead of starting at one, like I generally do, I'll say two and only start printing when the row, when white space is less than the row, less than or equal to the row. So row will start off at one, which means it won't print for the first line. When row starts at two, that's when it starts printing. And let's see. So I want to increment with the amount of um, white space each time. Each row, I want to uh, increase the amount of white space so I could push, right? I could push this triangle a little more, a little more every time I'm on a new row. So that will increase. And just to print, I put this white space and that should be correct. So let's run that and let's see if I did that correctly. And there we go. So print out the number and then for the next row, print out white space, then print the number, print the white space, print the number. All right, so that will be it for this exercise. We have four triangles here, uh, each in their own little nested for loop. All right, and that's just uh, to display these triangles over here.